This is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm at NAB 2017, and I'm on the Akamai booth, and I'm talking with Shawn Michaels, who is director of product, uh, D- director of media product management. And Sean, you have a really exciting pro- product that fixes the eternal problem of latency in live video. So talk to us about what you're doing there. Yeah, so thanks, Colin. So um, at the show, we're announcing our new Media Services Live 4.0 product. And one of the key capabilities is a concept of what we call live origin. So one of the challenges when we released the product that we wanted to kind of take on was the concept of could you deliver broadcast quality with low latency? As I'm sure you're aware, uh, we've all kind of heard that you have to have a quality trade-off between latency and quality. So our challenge was, could we build a network and a, a, a mid-tier system that is reliable enough to handle very small video fragments and video segments and to be able to do it in such a way that it's not causing rebuffer, jitter, or any type of playback issues. So the concept of taking a really high quality video at very small segments, basically eradicating the buildup on the player buffer and delivering what we would see as a a very low latent experience to the user. Right, and and so typically what we're seeing is, um, you know, on online live streams, I'm seeing 30 seconds or 50 seconds or a minute or more right. delay between what we call, you know, the origin stream yep. and this stream. So how are you managing to reduce that? And in fact, in, in, in the demo that you're showing here, you're actually ahead of a broadcast, a standard broadcast yep. channel through a cable system. How are you doing that? Well, there's really two ways that we're doing that. So the first is, you know, we're of the opinion that you need to treat your OTT or your internet solution with the same type of rigor as you would treat your broadcast. So one of the key first key steps is making sure that your contribution encoder is pulling from like the master control system and not pulling down farther down the line. The second is once you've got access to that contribution stream, making sure that all of the subsequent systems are built out to handle very high velocity. Um, first, that's whether you're transcoding product, you're building that out to scale so that you're not adding additional latency. And the second is building an entire network from the ground up to handle really small fragment sizes. So in a traditional video experience, you'll see a uh, video encoded and chunked into 10 second segments. Well, when you're dealing with an Apple TV player, it stores three segments on the player. So that 10 second chunk becomes 30 seconds worth of delay, and then any network congestion problems you have just adds to that delay. What we said is, well, if you have a really good network, you don't need that buffer on the player. So why don't we eradicate some of those segments, get it down to a one second chunk, which uh, decreases the amount of buffer that you have on the player, but also, uh, and then eliminates the latency. So what we really brought to the table was a network that was built from the ground up to be able to manage intelligently those very small second, uh, those very small segments at very high velocity. So this, uh, th- talk about how this eliminates the problem of rebuffering, because one of the problems with when you, when you go for low latency, yeah. you don't have very much buffer on the client, and so yeah. you end up getting a lot of rebuffers, and that's really been a, the biggest impediment to delivering yeah. such low latency. So just talk a little bit about that mid-tier level where you're fixing that. Yeah, and so that's where we talk about a purpose-built origin. So if you take a look at a lot of live video systems today, they're really doing their live origination off of what we'd call a generic storage system. It wasn't built from the ground up with the live problem in mind. So we took our 18 years of experience at Akamai and said, okay, well, what are the things that are 18 years delivering live video? And we said, okay, well, what can we learn from that? And so what the mid-tier is doing is things like when a segment comes in, we're being very intelligent about replicating that system, or that segment three times within the context of our network. Um, we're doing things like taking our mapping technology, which in the past has been really designed for rerouting end users around internet problems and getting them access to play video. What we're doing is saying, okay, well, at the point of ingest, how do we interrupt or how do we route around ingest problems and network problems in order to optimize the ingest points. And all of these small little incremental changes reduce where latency would typically be added within the network. So we just kind of improve the efficiency of the network to the point to where those that latency is not being incremented. And I have to ask, the, the $64,000 question is, does it scale? Yeah, the answer is it does scale. Um, we've recently used this in a number of live events. Uh, so we had a recent event where a customer had a, a multi-day event that took place over a number of days. During the event, they created 98 million streams uh, dur- over the course of the event. In the first five days alone, there were 69 million streams created. 
and roughly speaking, on their peak day, they had about 1.2 million concurrent users. Um, there are a couple of metrics that we use to determine the, the availability and the quality of our system. The first is successful ingest rate. So what is the rate of them sending bits to us and us receiving them in the cloud? And for the duration of the event, it was 100%. The second is availability. When an end user tries to click on play, is it available? Kind of the always on experience that you would expect from a television. Our availability rate during the event was over 99.99%, again chasing broadcast. And finally, what is the rebuffer rate? You know, is it skipping and pausing? Because as we all know, TV doesn't typically skip or pause. And during that event, we saw less than 1% rebuffer rate. That's awesome. So that your, your customers must be pretty happy with this. Yeah, yeah, they are. They, uh, this is definitely one of the features in uh, this new innovation is definitely the type of the type of product that they're looking from Akamai as we continue to chase the, uh, the concept of bringing broadcast online. Well, congratulations. This is a great solution, and I'm, I hope to see lots of people using it because I, I, for one, are very frustrated with the latency issue. Uh, me too. As both a product manager and as a consumer of online video, uh, I'd like to see a lot of our customers in the industry moving this in direction. Fantastic. Congratulations, right. Sean. Have right. a great show. Thank you, Colin. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media.